Hi everybody, thanks for watching the video. Uh, this uh, video has come about because of uh, the discussion in the Trade Dice resellers group uh, about the new header cards that Andy's thinking about bringing in. Um, I just thought I would share how I do things and how I package my stock. Um, it might help somebody else who's also looking for the same kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to go a bit further than just the header cards and say how I do my website and my till system. Um, purely because I think this is something that a lot of people struggle with. Um, and I've done a lot of research uh, and this is kind of my area of expertise. So hopefully I can help somebody out with this video. Um, but... To, to start with the original point, the header cards. Um, this is the design for my header card. Um, as you can tell, it's got my web address on it, on both sides. It's got my logo, and it's got a couple of areas of uh, white that I can use for whatever I want. And it's got a Euro, Euro slot punch. Um, now, my main profession is a web and graphic designer so I designed these myself and uh, sourced the printing myself because uh, that's what I do um, a lot of people in this game possibly won't have those skills so they may have to find somebody who can do it for them um, or buy pre-packaged stock like what Andy's proposing uh, which I think is a great idea um, but for me, this is how I've decided to go down, the, the route I've decided to go down, and obviously the uh, header cards Andy's designing didn't exist when I started this project. Um, so these aren't just for dice, they're for pretty much anything. Uh, here's an example of dice that are ready to go. As you can see, I've got my price on there, and I've got a description of the product. And on the back, is a sticker which has a barcode another description of the product that is purely for me really um when i print off 200 or 300 stickers at a time and it's just got a barcode on the back it's not going to be very useful i have to be able to see what i'm supposed to be sticking it on so that description is mainly for me and then it's got a human readable or in most cases, human readable SKU, uh, which incidentally is not the same as the SKU read by the barcode, but I'll get onto that in a bit. Um, another use that I have is for my cutters. As you can see, I've got a handwritten price, this little description, side cutters, and the same kind of sticker on the back so as you can see there there's a barcode and like i said there's a human readable uh, sku on the bottom there and um, these are for my till system and my website i found that although i'm a tiny tiny retailer and i have a very small number of products in relation to even a small bricks and mortar store um, when I sell at shows um, and when I sell on my website this stock can very easily go out of sync and it takes often more time than I'm at the show selling to get my stock back in sync again um, before I've introduced this this system um, now my website which I can show you here uh, is based on WordPress and Wheel Commerce. Um, again, like I said, I'm a web designer, so I built this myself. Um, a lot of people uh, won't be able to uh, or want to build a website themselves, but if you're in a position to do it, I would say have a go. It's relatively cheap and easy to build a website these days, especially with pre-designed themes and stuff like that. You can, uh, 
you can make something really quite nice um, relatively easily and cheaply um, to make it perform is really hard that's the hardest part not necessarily the building of it um, but that is a whole other board game at uh, ball game and uh, I'd be happy to talk at length about that on another video or in private messenger or whatever if anybody wants any advice that I can give feel free to shoot me a message or leave a comment or whatever but uh, yeah so I use WordPress as the basis for my content management system um, and then I use a plugin called WooCommerce uh, which turns the blogging platform of WordPress into an e-commerce site and by e-commerce I mean it has products on the site like this it's gonna go really slowly now because I'm trying to record a video there you go so products on the website uh, that you can purchase and um, are done with WooCommerce the way I take payments through my website is through uh, a company called Square and Square in my opinion is one of the best at for, for sm small retailers and especially mobile retailers like myself I trade mainly at shows uh, around the UK uh, I don't have a bricks and mortar store um, so all of my stock has to be able to get packed up put in boxes and taken home and then unpacked as quickly as possible and go onto a, onto a stand um, gone are the days where at these shows it was cash only a lot of people are trading with uh, card readers now um, and Square payments don't charge you a monthly fee they only take 1.75% of every sale which for credit card payment uh, and and debit card payments is pretty good value for the most part uh, you can even take American Express and it doesn't cost any more so it's uh, it's really good um, in that respect and it's got a free plugin for WordPress so it didn't cost me pretty much anything to set that integration up and other places can cost a hell of a lot more than free um, when I'm at a show um, sorry I'm just trying to get the card reader out of the box which is proving a lot more difficult than it should be right I haven't plugged it in uh, to the card reader uh, to the iPad at the moment but the card reader comes in two parts this one has been attached into the block so it can sit on the desk uh, but essentially this top section here comes off in fact I can just take it off now to show you right so this is a mobile card reader it is contactless but you can also put the card in um, and then the customer would have to input their pin on the device on the iPad but contactless worked brilliant for up to 30 quid I think it is um, I'll leave that when I'm at a show plugged in so I don't need to worry about the battery um, and that just sits on the desk and people can just tap that card on the top it's not plugged in right now though um, so and this is just my normal iPad um, so when I come back from the show I unplug this from the stand and it's just my iPad as you can see all my apps on there um, so Square has an iPad app they also have a phone app as well you don't have to have this set up um, on an iPad you can do it on a phone and I also have it on my phone um, 
this is the standard screen that you see when you fire the app up. Um, I have a barcode reader which is attached to this by USB. Um, if I just scan this, you'll see that it appears in the top there. I'll scan these. And there they are. Here's another set. Bang, it's all in there. You can see I've got the price and I've got the description and the total down in the bottom there. You can also search like this. So if somebody wants to add some orange dice, it might be quicker to go that way. Um, you, you can also add things which are quick buttons. So I've added this one on, so I'll just press that and it adds the thinner there so I'm now building up my total don't need to add it up in my head don't need to use a calculator it is just there um, when I press charge it'll give me the option for card or cash but I have my card reader isn't plugged in at the moment um, and the beauty of this is it connects directly to my website so I didn't have to input these into the app when I connected it to the website I synced it and everything just appeared so it also does stock as well so if I sold those now the stock will be deducted from my website automatically so when I get home everything's done I don't have to do a, essentially a stock take every time I do a show as long as I've put everything that I've sold through the app, everything will be fine. My stock will stay in sync between my real stock and the stock on my website. Um, the only caveat with this system is to get the barcode to print, it can't be that long. That is the SKU glitter dash poly dash set dash pink that is the SKU that I use on my website but or I did use on my website however to print a barcode that long it would be about twice the width of this entire header card so what I have to do is change the SKU to be a smaller uh, number uh, so I have essentially two SKUs for each item of stock um, this SKU uh, when I started I just started writing my own then I quickly realized that when I wanted to reorder things it was going to be exceptionally difficult to try and work out what I'd called things compared to what they were on my supplier's website. Uh, so I can't remember whether this one's my SKU or um, the SKU from the Trade Dice website. But um, now any new stock will just be the SKU from, from my, where who, whoever my supplier is. It'll be that so I can reorder it quickly. Um, but the SKU for the barcode will be just a sequential number BBG for Bone Blade Games 0003 uh, for um, 12 mil black dice um, the next one on the list will be 0004 and so on um, as I get new stock in um, what I do is I download a CSV file from WordPress and then you just add the next line is the next product give it the next sequential number for SKU and give it the reorderable SKU number so I can find it when I'm looking to reorder 
It'll also might give me a hint of which supplier I got it from, if it's something that I can get from multiple suppliers. Um, 